It was high octane sports here in front of the Eiffel Tower for the eighth leg of the Global Champions League. Top class riders coming to entertain the very best. VIPs from around the world gathering here in the French capital and of course cheered on by passionate fans all here on the Champ de Mars. In round one, course designer Uliano Vezzani set a thought-provoking track, delicate with riders being given options and challenges all around the arena. The home team, Paris Panthers, got off to a slow start with faults coming for both Dara Kenny and Harden Tal. Well, Paris Panthers away, and I'm afraid uh, they faulted at the first. Pressure was on the reigning champions, Valkensvard United, but star striker Alberto Zorzi showcased his phenomenal consistency, producing a foot perfect clear. Yes, he makes it happen, 83.18. His teammate Virgil Malen clipped the vertical, picking up four faults, leaving the door open to Hamburg Diamonds, who put themselves right at the forefront with a strong second. Great result from the Hamburg Diamonds. And the Monaco Aces who pulled it out of the hat to take third with the duo the fastest of all the teams despite their four faults. Absolutely keeps them in touching distance, just that one fence off the lead. But yet again it was Saint-Tropez Pirates duo of Simon de l'Est and Jérôme Garry who took their third consecutive pole position of the season, putting them in the perfect placing last to go in round two. Once again the Saint-Tropez Pirates out in super form. All the eyes were on the team lineup as tactical challenges came into play. With overall leaders, Valkensvard United swapping in top German rider Marcus Enning for Bertram Allen. Miami Glory also fielding their star striker, Scott Brash. As did London Knights putting into play Ben Mayer forward for the crucial second round. The course again, tight turns and full on verticals with poles falling all around. Drama came from Anna Kelnerova of the Berlin Lions. The home team of the Paris Panthers tumbled out of contention with rider Harden Tau. Oh, 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 no. Done. Shanti Pegasus rider Lauren Huff put in an almost perfect round with Waterford with just one time fault. But it was then bettered by teammate Sergio Alvarez Moya, who jumped clear to propel the team up the standings. Time is just good. Perfect. Eight, four, <laughs> yeah, perfect. An earlier eight faults from Marcus Enning meant Valkensvard United rider Alberto Zorzi had all the pressure on his shoulders, knowing he had to go clear and fast to keep them and hold on to the podium. Well, oh, no, it's done. gone. Audrey Coulter put in a strong round with Capital Colnado, picking up just four faults. Teammate Harry Smallers had to ride clear to keep the Diamonds in with a chance. Oh, and that's the first one down. Simon Delesse was first to go, keeping a clean sheet for the Saint-Tropez Pirates, taking the course on at top speed to the delight of the crowds. And so it came down to the final rider to enter the ring. The crowd applauding as Jérôme Gary and Grand Cru van der Rosenberg entered to the team's theme music. Jérôme Gary, come on, come on, come on, now he's got it down! Oh. Just gives them enough to keep ahead. I did a really big mistake on the last one. That uh, at the end you still win, but well, it was a little bit stressful. Ryan was really amazing, jumping uh, today at his best level, uh, like he is, so it's really fantastic to me to get him back at that level. We will be close and uh, okay, we are still uh, really fighting uh, strong and uh, we do our best every weekend. With their powerful result, the Pirates leapt to the top of the overall rankings, where they now sit on 152 points, knocking long-term leaders Valkensvard United off that top spot. Hamburg Diamonds podium position today keeps them in overall second on 150 points, with Valkensvard United just one point behind on 149. With every point counting, the second half of the season is ramping up to finish with high stakes as the tour moves to the stunning coastline of Cascais, Portugal.